All right, welcome back. First in, Weasels over Syria, mission five. This is for new players, players that are new to the F-16, new to DCS campaigns. I'll be walking you through everything that I do step by step, at least the best I can. If I forget to explain something uh, that I do, just say, hey, how'd, how'd you do that? How'd you do this? Whatever. In the comments below, I'll get you an answer. Let's get started. All right, vacuum. Oh. You know... Getting attacked? Oh! <laughs> Security forces at the range. That's awesome. All right. Start the aircraft and get airborne. All right, so first step, we're gonna go to main power on the battery switch here, or electrical switch, and canopy down. Right control backslash, and we're going to hit F10, and you can turn Immortal on by hitting F1 or clicking it, uh, but or you can just request engine start. We're going to just request engine start, F2. Hotel 4 ground, sort to 1, requesting engine start. Sort 2, 1, go for engine start. All right, start 2, and we're just going to get everything set up. I'm not following proper procedures. We're just gonna get this thing going so we can go up, get up in the air, start having fun. Let's get a manual. Yeah, all this turned on. Starting up. Park and brake. So the prerequisites here are that you know the basics of the F-16, at least how to start it up. Uh, if you don't know how to start it up, you can just simply uh, hit Windows key home, I think is the quick start key uh, key bind all right we're at 20 percent on the rpms go over the horn all right and uh, just remember if you do that it's going to do a full ins alignment you're going to need to sit and wait uh, uh, for at least i think it's close to like 10 minutes uh just sitting here waiting for that to finish so if you take off before Quick it says start. engine on and it'll tell you at the top right of the screen it'll tell you when the engine's fully started up and everything's good to go just wait till it says it's ready otherwise you will have problems all right so let's align our himmix so list and we're gonna hit select and recall and dauber right and hit select and we're gonna align our himmix and i think it's enable switch depress or something like that I'll put it up on the screen, but you're gonna push it right when you get this aligned up. Hold it there. All right, now you're good. And hit select, select again. Look at it, and I can. You can use RDR cursor switch to move this around. And the idea is you want to get this right where it's lined up, both crosses. Hit select again, and again, and this is for rotation. Just get that lined up. Select Dauber left. All right, and we'll hit list and six to watch the INS alignment. We're just waiting for that to finish at this point. Line is flashing. We have 10 and ready flashing on the DED. And come over here, set this to nav and dauber left. Let's ask ground for taxi clearance. So right control backslash F10. You can still turn immortal on here or just request taxi uh, clearance. So F2. Hotel 4 ground, sword 2 1, requesting clearance to taxi. Sword 2 1, you are cleared for taxi. All right, nose wheel steering. Start two one. All right, and hold the brakes. Parking brake off. And push the throttle forward just a tad. There we go. Looks like sword one's taken off. Yeah, the security forces better get off the ramp. Look at this knucklehead. 
the heck is he doing? I think this is put in place to prevent us from taking off before Sword 1, but... Oh, I got stories about security forces on the flight line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get out of here. The heck do you think you're doing? Get off the taxiway. Alright. Right control backslash. And, uh, oh, actually. Com 2. If you don't know what tower is, press right shift K. And we'll cycle with our right and left brackets to get to our knee board. Pin this one, and we'll pin this one. So tower is uh, VHF preset two. So we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit com two, two, enter. All right. So you see VHF two. Now we can talk to tower. Right control backslash. Uh, I gotta push forward a little bit. Gotta get closer to the apron or the uh, the runway here. All right, to the threshold, and now we can talk to Tower. And notice you can't request, uh, or you can't set Immortal on anymore. So you have to do it back there if you want that, and do it back on uh, startup. So we're gonna hit F1 to request takeoff. Hotel 4 Tower, sort to one requesting takeoff. Sort to one, you are cleared for takeoff on runway 28, wind 233 for four knots. Altimeter 2980. Sort 2-1. Alright. Liner up here. And yeah, we're going to turn uh, nose wheel steering off. Everything looks good. Let's push her up. We're going to go into full burn. Let go of the brakes. Sort 2-1 rolling. And about 165-ish, we'll start our rotation. So right about now. Gear up. to one airborne. Out of burner. Back to full mill. We're going to climb up to about 3,000 feet. And then we'll call departure. Keep ourselves on a 280 heading. All right, 3,000 feet. I'm doing altitude hold. And departure is going to be number three. So two, three, enter. Right control backslash F10, contact departure. Hotel 4 departure, Sword 2 1 departing from runway 28. Sword 2 1, turn heading 030, climb flight level 150. Turn right. 030, flight level 150, Sword 2 1. Alright, I'm gonna keep the roll on attitude hold and I'm gonna set the pitch to attitude hold. We're gonna turn right to 030. Zero three. There we are, and we're gonna climb up to fifteen thousand feet. And as fast as we are, we can pitch up quite a bit here. And you can basically just let go of the stick now because the autopilot. Well, I pulled too hard, so I put it back down into attitude hold. And she'll keep you right there. Up to 15,000 feet. And we're going to do something here that I forgot to do on the ground. Which is fine. It's something we can definitely do in the air.
I haven't had any problems doing it in the air late, uh, lately, so. 14K. All right, that's 15,000. We actually passed through it a little bit, so descend to 15. There we go, and altitude hold on the autopilot. There we go. I'll roll back over. All right, so what I forgot to do, I forgot to set up the uh, the data link. So um, again. Just to do this, you just hit the list. One, continue on heading zero, three, zero. Yep, zero, three, zero. Oops. <laughs> Turn right a little bit here. All right. So, hit list, enter, and then press one to turn GPS off. Uh, GPS time off. <clears throat> wait for it to stop saying in progress. And then we'll hit one again. Wait a few seconds, then hit one again. Turn it back on. You'll see course. And fine. And now I can see everyone on the data link. All right. DMS down until you get a white box around the HSD here. RDR cursor to move the cursor around. We're going to go over number three, which is lead. And then TMS up. Just see a little octagon there. And now we have a PDLT, a primary data link track. And hold DMS down for longer than a second, and they'll turn on your Hemix. Same thing, turn it off, hold it down, turns off, turn it back on. And now I can see lead. There's sword 1-1. All right. We're just waiting for departure to give us give us the go-ahead uh, go and clear us off here. We're going to go steering select on the roll, and she'll fly us to steer point one. Or waypoint one, you have uh, right here, steer point one. You can uh, press this up and down arrow to cycle through the steer points, and you'll also see the steer point is denoted by a solid white dot on your HSD. So we're flying right for it. Contact Popeye on sword frequency, spacebar when ready. So sword is uh, seven. And you can see over here on the knee pad, uh, knee board, sword preset seven. So two, seven, enter. Hit spacebar. Sword one, sword two, approaching waypoint one. We're gonna start our climb to twenty-five. Sword flight, push on flight plan, go trail. Sword two one. Sword three one. All right. Proceed on flight plan and trail sword one one. So we're gonna go to waypoint two. So I'm gonna hit up, take us to two, and she'll start flying us to two. Notice I'm keeping her on attitude hold and steering select on roll. All sorts with Sentinel on uniform. And it's just so that she'll fly for me. One, two. I'm going to slow sword down two. here. The sword 1-1 one, one is right sword there. Sword one, two. All right. Sentinel. So Sentinel is uh, COM-1, preset 2, and I just flew right over sword 1-1. One, one. I got an altitude warning. He must have been right underneath me. Oh, that wasn't... Smart. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> one, two, enter. Two, one, set. One, one, out. Okay, sir, flight. Russians are up and at it again. Watch your position. 
Sword to copy. Copy. Sword 2, I want you to get the lowdown from vacuum. Sword 1 will monitor Sentinel. Alright, so we're gonna go to the vacuum. Three. Switching vacuum on uniform. Vacuum is 3. So we're gonna go 1, 3, enter. Space bar. Vacuum, sword 2 1, request lowdown Sierra. Sword 2 1, vacuum, stand by lowdown Sierra. Lowdown Sierra, 1108, call call 185 for 6 7, tight. 808, call call 141 for 9 2, and lowdown. Alright. Copy vacuum, sword 2 1 out. Press space bar to contact Popeye. Sword 1-1, one, one, Sword 2-1. Morris. Lead, vacuum is reporting an SA-11 awake at Bulls, 125 for 131, and an SA-8 awake at Bulls, 134 for 140. Morris, that puts the 11 somewhere near Homs. The 8 must be in the proximity of Palmyra. Optional conversation available. So backslash F10 A10 shoot down. Lead, what else do you know about that A10 shoot down from yesterday? Not much else for us, to be honest. SIA Manpad bagged a hog somewhere north of Raqqa, but that's about all I know. Pilots got out and CSAR went in for him with the support of some Marine Hornets in the area. Any lessons we should be taking from it? Nothing you don't already know. Man pads are dangerous, and you should avoid getting in their missile envelope. For sure. Gotta wonder what that A-10 pilot was doing to find himself in that position. Well, at least he wasn't deliberately flying head-on into a heavy belt of sand systems. Sounds crazy. Who do that? Fly me, GSM. You said it. Right, alright, quit it. You know how important this mission is and how quick it'll go wrong if you don't focus. We know, boss. Don't sweat it. It's about time they send us up north, though. Sounds like they're crying out for weasels up there. Agreed. It really has been a no-fly zone up to now. Even the JSTF is unable to fly in it. Well, they will be today. This is why we're here in OCN. There's nothing in that no-fly zone we can't handle. Just make sure you keep your SA. Don't get too close to any known threats, and if engaged, send a harm right back at them. You got it, boss. Anyone else noticed a drone taking off right before us? First time I've seen one of them in action since arriving in Jordan. Yeah, I wondered about that. Supporting special ops, maybe? I'm sure that if we were supposed to know, then we'd know. So let's leave it there. Shutting up. All right. So I know I missed the first call there because <laughs> I was flying right over Sword One, about to fly over him again. But uh, should be good. That was, that was a little close. <laughs> Betty's going off altitude. <laughs> All right, we're at 25. We're going to level out. Actually passed through 25, so let's... Descend just a tad. Altitude hold. And steering select on roll, and we should be good to go. All right, so at this point, if you want to, you can uh, set your your uh, nav computer to just fly for you. Hit four for steer point, and then dauber down to manual. Hit select, 
I'll set it to auto, and what that'll do is uh, next next waypoint, as soon as we get there, the uh, computer will automatically select waypoint three, and it'll automatically start flying you there, and so on and so forth, and just fly the whole mission for you, and go get a soda or whatever you want to do. Use the piddle pack, whatever you got to do. <laughs> Just don't forget to turn that back to manual when you get into the AO because if you are looking with your targeting pod at a waypoint and you fly over a waypoint, the, the next waypoint, and it's on auto, the system will automatically switch to the next waypoint which will, which will slew your targeting pod away from what you're looking at to the next waypoint. Now I don't know if that's correct, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work in real life, not sure. But that's what it does in DCS, so just keep that in mind. When you fence in, uh, make sure you set your nav computer, set it to manual. I learned that the hard way. We need to slow down, we're getting ahead of the flight here. Yeah, because uh, one is behind us. We we're supposed to go trail, so we're gonna slow down a little bit. So if you've read the briefing, uh, this is going to be kind of a, it seems like it's going to be kind of a boring mission just based on the briefing. Uh, we aren't going to be shooting at anything. We're just kicking the hornet's nest, trying to uh, anger some sands, get them, get them angry so they'll turn on and then we get their coordinates and so that's all we're doing today. Just a little recon. Coming up on waypoint two. Third flight, watch your positioning. We're threading the needle. Yeah, Russia I know. To the east, Sirius to the west. Make sure countermeasures are ready to go. Four, one, two. Coming up on waypoint two. Two, one. You're going to see it switch to three. Four, two, two. Four, three, one. I've got my hand on uh, four, three, two. my mouse. I'm not touching the stick. There it is, three, and she's flying for me. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to push the throttle up because we're getting a little slow. And one should be passing by us here in a second. There they are. There we go. Push the throttle up a little bit more because we're still losing speed. There we go. I'll let one get in, uh, in front. Let him get ahead of us. You can see how valuable this PDLT is. You can always find your flight lead. Good to make sure you have it set. At least in my opinion. I'm sure some people disagree, but that's my opinion. I think PDLT is uh, key for situational awareness uh, between you and your lead. I'll let them get ahead of us. So they are flying real slow. My guess is 260 or 270. So once we get to 260, we'll pull the throttle back a little bit. So if we keep ourselves in mill, we're going to end up a mile ahead of them. Yeah, we're starting to 
Yeah, 268, maybe. I'm almost going as fast as they are now. So we'll pull the throttle back a little bit. little bit more we're still catching up here all right I'm gonna turn the automated uh, nav off so steer point dauber down select Keep full control over that. I'm going to push the throttle up a little bit now. As they are still pulling ahead. There we go. And then we'll pull back. That should do it. Alright, so... According to the briefing, we're going to come up here between these two SAMs. We're going to confirm the location of these SAMs. We think they're at these bases. So we're just going to fly into the ring. Hopefully the SAM will come alive and we'll be able to get coordinates on it. And uh, we'll look around for some other SAMs besides these two. Um, just to make sure there's nothing else out there. Waypoint three. We'll start our turn here in a second. Start our turn here. Right about now. Fort flight, waypoint three, turning west. Yep. There's sword two. There's a lead for sword two, two one right there. Or sorry, I'm two one. This is uh, sword three, I think. Let's get a little ahead here. There we go. Lost my positioning there. 
That's my bad. We're going to slow down here. We're catching up on one. Fence in, all right. Push the throttle up a little bit. Perform fence in check. So we're gonna turn our lights off and I'm gonna put this into operate. Everything looks good here. Chaff flare buckets, all that. Let's go master arm on. And all that looks good. Let's go to air to ground. Let's turn the 88s on. We're going to go to here, we're going to go to weapon page, over here, TGP, and test, put the HAD, keep the HSD up. Alright, ready to go, fenced in, fenced in at 8.8, .8 on fuel. So I'm already picking up a uh, an eight. It looks like. Yep, an eight and a fire can, uh, fire control radar. Oh, got another one over here. PGM five though. I'm gonna bring this HSD down a little bit. So we're gonna look at 30 miles out instead. Fort Flight, waypoint four. Music on. All right, music on. So music make on. sure their ACM is on operate, transmit. We're gonna do a CMS aft. Music on. And there we go. And you'll see the T. Sort 2, push us flag. Sort 3, set up on cover. Tank, be ready to cover us from that 11. Ghost, stand by to cover Sort 2. Sort 3, 1. Sort 3, 2. Alright. Let's turn Sword off two, our altitude up. hold. Keep a lookout. Copy, I'm cover. So my plan is... Alright, proceed with the mission as briefed and penetrate the Syrian SAM belt to stimulate the Syrian air defenses. You're only looking to bait SAM batteries in this area to activate their radars. Return to waypoint four when ready to, de to depart in RTB. So we're not trying to far, uh, fire on these. We're just, we're trying to kick the hornet's nest. We're just trying to make them angry. We're gonna push the throttle up and we're gonna try and stay high. I don't wanna get down near 15,000 feet or anything like that. 
So we're going to stay up here. And I'm going to do attitude hold on the roll and altitude so we can go heads down if we need to. But we're flying directly towards that first one. It's supposed to be an SA-6 over there. So let's use the HAD of the HTS pod. So we have it. Let's start our left hand turn here. So I've got it locked up for my harm. My harm is locked up on it. So if I have to, I can let it loose. But we don't want to if we don't have to for this mission, so. So I'm just going to go right into the ring here, just the edge of it, and fly through it a little bit, see if we can't get it to turn on, because all we're seeing is the fire control, we're not seeing the six yet. Entering science, threat ring. Right, deselect it, wait for that six. I'll turn left a little bit more here. The ring should, there it is. There it Get is. Radar online, mud six. Looks like it's somewhere north of Tyus. Right, we'll wait till we get an elint from vacuum. I mean, it's loose. All right, vacuum's captured the SA-6 at Tyus. Emissions, uh, you can continue to look for further SAMs or depart for waypoint four when ready. Well, we're not done yet, so we're gonna keep looking. But we definitely made that SAM angry. There, it's down there somewhere. You can see the EWR, at the, or the, uh, yeah, the EWR right there. Third one, entering threat ring. All players vacuum, 10 away, call to 144 for 194. Alright, we got a 10 from uh, Sword 1. Sword 1 2, Spike, descending. Sword 1 1, engaging SA 11, portal 181 for 71. I'm going to skirt this ring here. We're looking for anything else out there. So I see another F uh, fire control over here. Our fire can. Lead, we're pushing pretty deep here. Mines are only 12 miles to the south. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure there's nothing out here. So we're way within that circle there, if there is a circle right there. Because that's the fire can I've got. <clears throat> there it is. Short one one spike. Yep, there it is. Alright, we're gonna turn around. See if we can't get Yeah, 
Yeah, just keep that six angry. <laughs> uh, is that a... Alright, we're going to turn around and head towards... Because I'm not getting that thing to turn on. So we'll just head towards uh, the other one. Maybe it'll turn on on our way back. But I think... I'll pull up the targeting pod here in a second. Take a look again. So I see the fire can, but... Four three one Magnum. Got the two on. Portal one eight five four six eight. Two's up. I can see it on the RWR. Sharkaya mine. We're well within its mez. Get clear. Hey, there it is. It turned on. It turned on. There's the six. I knew there was one over there. Gone dark. Sword one two report. Sword one two is up. Copy two. Push start. Time to leave. Old player is six away. Four four one five one zero one. Please. All right. So that was right. Vacuum capture and SA six at Shakai Mines emissions. Uh, you can continue to look for further SAMs or depart for waypoint four when ready. So I was gonna go and try and get that two. It o it woke up a second, uh, a second ago, just a little bit, and then it went dark because I left. But this one, Let's get that fire can. Yeah, hey, look at that, look at that. Hey, look, yeah. What's that? What else have we got? It's a fire can. Fleet, I'm tallying on a large concentration of Syrian armor. Six miles away at a village lying right between these two threat rings. Uh, pause is portal 150485. I'm going to link you the position. I'm sure it'll have shore at. You know, I'm just... Well, let's, let's go to the six here and see if we can get the other six to wake up here. We're going to start turning left. Mud eight. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're in the red. Just want to skim the ring here. If we can. Come on. Heads up, entering Palmyra threat ring. Oh, we've we've been in it, bug. <laughs> nope. That's the eight. Looking for a six. Alright, let's go back in the ring. Because she's not pinging me yet. And keep her angry. Loose. Well, loose is better than nothing. Vacuums captured in SA-6 at Palmyra emissions. You can continue to look for further SAMs or depart for waypoint four when ready. Honestly, I think I'm pushing my luck. I, I want to go back and try and get that too, but 
This is fine. Good enough for government work, right? All right, back to four. We actually climbed a little high here. Let's go back down to 25. And we'll head to waypoint four. Just left that ring. Palmyra, uh, Palmyra's ring will hit to head to waypoint four. Angels 25. All right, vacuum. Vacuum got at least three. I, I think I could have probably got that two if I'd have hung around. And vacuum could have got the two, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I won't get a hundred percent on this one. Uh, so far. So far, the missions that I've done uh, in my guide here, if you do what I do, uh, you get 100% on all of them, except I want to say it's mission three. Uh, I got a 97% on that one from that video, and I think it was because I missed one of the launchers. RTB option is now available. When ready, contact Sword Flight using the F-10 menu, so right control backslash F-10 ready to RTB. Sword 1-1, one, one, Sword 2 is off mission in RTB. Copy, Sword 2-1. Sword 1 is holding its shell. We'll follow you back. Alright, they're going to follow us back so we can go ahead and go full mill all the way home. Return to H4. Shells available for AAR if required. So aerial refueling if you're low on gas, but we still got 7.4. <clears throat> so we're fine. Sort 2-2, battle damage check. Copy, lead. Let's go to uh, 3. Altitude hold. Let 2 do a BDA on us. Where is 2? I don't even know where 2 is. Let's get a PDLT on him. Unless this is two. Oh, my TGP is uh, looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, there we go. Steer point three. And I'm gonna do CMS right to stop the music there we go and we're gonna keep it on operate just in case all right there's two so two is two on the hsd too so cool Bug's gonna do a BDA on us. In real life, BDA, I don't remember if it's left wing to right wing or if it matters, but he's gonna fly underneath us to the other side and then over top of us and just take a look at the overall state of our jet. No bullet holes, no damage, missing parts, stuff like that. A panel got ripped off because the crew chief didn't fully secure all the all the fasteners. Oh, dag, um. Oh, we're doing a, a Sierra Hotel check. Okay. <laughs> Just zoom left to right, right to left. All right, you did the top, you're gonna do the bottom. Lead, 
All clean. Alright. Now, do I get to do bud? I think we've done this before and I don't get to. Bug checks us and that's it. But typically after after two takes uh, takes care of the BDA on you, two will take lead and then you check two. And check each other's jets. Coming up on three. Switch to waypoint two. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it now. I'm gonna pull a little tighter here. There we go. And since I pulled a little tight, the nav computer let go. <clears throat> One. Come on, there it goes, 25. Go to altitude hold. Keep it there. All right. Now I'm keeping everything ready just in case. Lead, we're clear. Fence out. All right, fence out. Sword two two. So, master arm. Sword one one. Sword two, pushing south for home. Copy forest right behind you. Sword flight switch sentinel checking out. Turn our lights on. Sword one two set. Sword two two. Sword three one set. Sentinel is two. two. So we'll do one, two, enter. Space bar. Sort two one set. Sentinel, sort one one. Go ahead, sort one one. Sentinel, third flight is off mission at RTB. Both packing got what they need if we kick the one it's nest back there. Yep. Sentinel, sort one one. Good work. You are clear to RTB. Send the lab. Okay, Sword Flight, continue home. Remember to keep clear of the Russian air to the east. So, we want to stay on this flight path as, as best we can. On waypoint two, we'll switch to one. There for us. It's pretty hairy out towards home. That was pretty smooth sailing. I heard two elevens coming up at you. Not a position you want to be in. No, but we got out in one piece. What activity did you see? Three sixes. We got sixes and to an come eight. up online at both Palmyra and Tyus, but we managed to avoid getting fired on. Stumble across some sort of staging area for Syrian armor as well. Please head quite heavy shore at. Seems Intel missed that one. Before us, we uh, drag it up in the debris. Bug found that one. We also pushed towards the Sharkwaya mines, 
They were well defended and we saw more SAMs come online there. Keep pushing that deep for us. But it was your call. We made it back, so it sounds like you made the right decision. Let's go to one. Copy lead. Syrian radar operators were pretty confident. Showed good radar discipline. Only radiating when we were within engagement range. Yeah, they gave a good account of themselves back there. <laughs> Not good enough, though. All right, heading to steer point one. Once we get there, we'll switch to uh, Alpha or Bravo, whichever, uh, whichever uh, arrival or approach sends us to. And I'll show you that. Really nice, we have waypoints for Alpha approach or Bravo approach, so. You don't have to play any guessing games. So I'm just realizing that I didn't uh, talk through something um, and I've gone over this pretty much every mission uh, but just in case you only came for this mission uh, if you want to switch between your MFD screens uh, without having to take your hands off the throttle and stick and actually click on it you can just press DMS right to cycle through the right screen so right 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 or left 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 so that's how I was doing that I apologize I didn't explain that if I forgot to explain anything else let me know in the comments I'll get you an answer I'm trying to think of it if I uh, forgot to I kinda get in the in the heat of things uh, sometimes I forget to talk through what I'm doing So let me know. And I'll put the key binds up on the screen when I'm pushing stuff. Even if I don't explain it later on in post, I'll try and put the key binds in there. So hopefully that helps. I was just waiting. Just waiting to get launched on. <laughs> New optional conversation is available. So backslash F10, discuss mission with bug F1. How'd you find that bug? Exciting enough? Uh. Oh man, that was intense. Earth ride to a large MEZ. Check that one off the bucket list. So did you get used to having people want to shoot at you yet? Yeah, you uh, you get used to it surprisingly quick. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Well, keeping cool under fire is. Just don't get too complacent about it. I saw a lot of AAA back there as well. That stuff worries me a little bit more than the sand. Just feels more random, I guess. Well. As long as you avoid a nice, predictable flight path and keep moving, you can avoid it easy enough. At Horse. least with the concentrations we've seen so far. If we end up around Damascus, it might be another story. It's not anything we need to worry about yet. Let's stay up high. We up getting stuck that far, in. Eh? Well, I don't know. We'll see. No idea. For now, our work looks like it's in the north. But who knows how things will work out. It's not like we've never seen mission creep before, is it? And throw in the extra complications of the Russian. Exactly. This whole place is too unstable right now. I have no idea how it ends or what our way out is. Think things could escalate with the Russians? Let's hope not. But it's not normal to have us operating in the same airspace while supporting two opposing factions, is it? The conditions for something to go wrong are there. 
Uh, and let's not forget we have Israel sitting close by with an eye on things. They've been pretty restrained so far, but if they feel threatened, I'd expect them to act. Then we'll have the JSTF, the Syrians, Russians, and the IAF all operating in a small amount of airspace. Ben, what could possibly go wrong? What do you think would draw the Israelis in? Take your pick. Hezbollah, the SIA, Syria themselves. It's not like they're without enemies, is it? That's a fair point. It's all sitting on their doorstep as well. Sort 2-2 two -two contacting H4 approach. All right, right shift K. Approach is uh, preset four for Victor or VHF. So we're gonna hit two, four, enter. And then we're gonna hit right control backslash F10, F1 to contact approach. Hotel four approach, sword to one inbound. Sword to one, proceed to hotel four airspace. Check in at flight level 150. Push to wrap call arrival at 30 mile mark. Flight level 150, sword to one. All right, we're gonna put this down to attitude hold. We're gonna start our descent to 150, angels 15. Pull the throttle back, use God's G to take us down instead of burning fuel. And... Let's go to, uh... Yeah. 30 mile mark, so... Well, I don't want to... Let's just go to seven. <laughs> Get ourselves pointed that way, and then we'll take off the autopilot and uh, get an idea. Oh, actually, let's just turn it off now. Why not? So let's go to waypoint 10. That is H4, and we are currently 41 miles away. You can see right there on the HSI, or you can see it right here on your hood. Bottom right, 40 miles to waypoint 10 feel like I haven't explained that. And let's switch to arrival, which is five, so two, five, enter. And we'll wait till we are 30 miles away Need to be that. Uh, we need to be at Angels 15. So we're just going to keep descending here. And what I was talking about earlier, you have uh, Alpha approach here and Bravo over here. So waypoint nine and waypoint eight. Almost at Angels 15 and we're almost at 30 miles out. <coughs> 30 miles out, right control, backslash. Oh, not quite there yet, we'll wait. <laughs> There it is, F-10, contact, hotel arrival. arrival. Sword 21 entering Hotel 4 airspace. Sword 21, cleared for approach Alpha. Maintain flight level 150. Approach Alpha, flight level 150, Sword 21. I apologize, I'm wrong, just thinking about this. Uh, this is Bravo, this is Alpha, so we're gonna go to Alpha. So we'll go to waypoint nine start heading there now and I passed through 15 so we're gonna climb up wasn't I was talking not paying attention
All right, altitude hold, steering select. Take off altitude hold, climb up. I probably missed it. There we go. Waypoint nine, right there. I'm gonna push the throttle up a little bit. Up to mill. There's H4 right there. And uh, I think we're supposed to be at 120, if I remember right. I think he said 120, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, H4 Tower's got a number for me to call. Did he say one, two, three, zero? I think he did. Short two, one, clear to enter pattern. Flight level zero, nine, zero. Oh, there we go. Zero, nine, zero. Point level zero, nine, zero. Sword two, one. Uh, maybe he did say one, five, zero. I was not paying attention. All right. Zero nine zero. The pattern is a counterclockwise orbit around H four. So we're gonna switch to waypoint ten so we can have that on our on our Hemix. Descending down to zero nine zero. through that back up to zero nine zero there we go altitude hold push the throttle up a little bit getting a little too slow
And we'll start our turn here. Start two one, exit pattern, and push the tower. All right, let's push the tower. Start two one. Right shift K. If you don't know what tower is, it's two VHF two. So we're going to go to 90 degrees here to the runway. We'll go to 2, 2, enter. And then right control, backslash, F10, request landing. Hotel 4 Tower, sword 2-1, requesting landing. Sword 2-1, cleared for landing, runway 10. Zero. One zero, two, all right. Three, four, four knots. Runway 10, sword 2-1. All right, we're gonna start our descent. And one zero is on that side, a far side, so we're gonna turn to two eight zero here. Which is the runway heading. Two eight zero. Runway heading's actually like, I think it's like two seven eight or something. It's not quite, I could be wrong. I might be mis misremembering, but 280 is the heading we always fly on uh, departure, so I'm going to do that. Put us parallel with the runway, and then we're going to turn final here. So we're on left downwind, 10. There's bug. It's like bugs. Bugs breaking off. All right, I'm gonna start our base turn for one zero. And we'll turn final here. Let's drop the gear. Start our turn on to final. You got three green on the gear. Alright, line her up. Just an ever so slight crosswind here. One's going around. Altitude. Gear up. Altitude. That was... There's no way I was going to stop. <laughs> this runway is not very, very long. Alright.
try that again. Climb up, get a little bit more altitude. I'm give that another shot. All right. Make sure you're below 300 before you drop the gear. Or you're overspeed your gear. I like to drop it about 250 if I can. All right, gear coming down. Uh, sometimes I drop it a little, uh, a little faster than that, but just don't drop it above 300, and you'll be fine. So a slick landing is about 145 knots ish, depending on wind and. And a, uh, but when you're loaded like this, I've got pylons and I'm super draggy. I'm going to land a little faster. So making the marks, especially at H4, is a little bit more important. So there we go. A little bit of a bounce there. Keep the nose up and try and keep center line. All right. And just push the brakes a little bit and let go of the boards, the stabs, and pull the boards in so the speed brakes are in. 421, clear runway and proceed to spot 11. Spot 11, nose wheel steering on. Hey, all right. Mission complete. Good deal. You may exit when ready. Turn right, going to spot 11. Does that flow through over here? I believe. Taxi around back here. I'm gonna try not to nip our wing on this wall here. <laughs> it's gonna be a tight fit. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about anything I did that I didn't explain, let me know in the comments section below. See you guys in the next one.
there. Flame out.